live again. So, let's continue with the ARIA um, if we left off last time. So what we're going to try and do this time around is just kind of deal with the tab button. So the tab button says when. So this is kind of the, the documentation for, for example, tabs or manual activation. So it's kind of hard to do, do usability with tabs. Um, you also see there's this, there's this link for, for ARIA. So normally what you search for is W3C, ARIA, and then tabs, and then you'll get to these pages. Anyway, so this kind of details what you're supposed to do when somebody presses tab. So, so when focus moves into the split tab, place focus onto active tab. So first thing that it sounds like we need is that we need on the, it sounds like we need on the tab bar that we've got at the top here, over here we need a tab index of I think it's going to be something like this. So the reason for this is that we want to be able to go like, okay, let's go back to, to our page. So we want to say tab. So the idea is just when this thing gets you know, on focus, what we want is that we want to do something like this. So we want to say const tab list equals use ref and then this thing should have a ref of tab list it's kind of the idea I think okay what we want to do now is we want to say tab list dot current Okay, first we need to import ref so we get the completion. So tab list of current on children. Something similar, so possibly. does not exist on site neither. So what we want to do is we want to say HTML development something similar to that. As I'm just going to cause the station or button element so that we get completion of the focus function. Okay, so let's see. So yeah, <laughs> hmm. okay. So for some reason when we open it up it automatically goes there but so what is the focus on then okay so we got a problem again in that go left right then the tab goes that but okay so on focus tab current is gone so the idea is, is we're trying to move the focus away from the tablets into the first child of, of tablets which should be the button down here okay let's see Second tab.
Okay, so... Let's see what's going on here. So we're going to need a console here because we are going to... So what I'm basically trying to figure out is, is that if we're properly shifting the focus to to the button, then the set current tab indexer should start working again. Okay. But at the moment, that's probably not working that as well as we're hoping for. So let's see... So, we've got tap panel, so a shift to tap panel works fine, but then it doesn't come back again. So, part of the problem it might be is the, because React essentially has its own, its own events, it might be that because of that, so it might be a conflict between like React's focus events and the DOM's focus events. Which isn't great, but so what we're going to have to do then on I suppose use effect is I wanna see something. Because what we can do is we can try and add focus handler. We're saying okay. If tab list dot current document dot add event listener focus and then go const hand focus handler equals and what we do is on the return function we say document dot remove event listener focus so we're just basically cleaning up after ourselves so what happens is that um, on entry it runs this function but on exit it basically runs the function that you return from username so the idea again is just that this runs when you enter the comp when you mount the component or when you show the component and this this runs when you remove the component. Um, so then on focus handler, it's basically doing this. And then we're dropping the on focus stuff from. Okay, so we have to check for tab list again. The reason why we double check this is that this function sort of kind of runs out of the context of of all of this. Okay, so let's see what happens. So I go... Okay, so now we're probably f assigning the focus again, but... Example tabs. Okay, so we get the tab focus, and we say, okay, focus handler, Tab scope, but for now, let's just deal with trying to figure out why this is okay. So, synthetic event rule. No wonder. Oh, do I feel stupid now, right? Um, let's see. So, so 
Cyprus is more likely to have changed over time being functional, because we function, we're supposed to know this is correct, but we don't know this is how this person is using this. Okay, so let's see. Cons tab list element equals tab. That. Okay, let's see what happens. So, let's see. I'm pressing tab. Shift focus to the first one. Slovenia, get the first one. I go left, right. And then. Okay, so that seems to be working all good now. That's amazing. So, that's, I'm really happy about that. Okay, so the next thing that we need to do is we need to deal with the focus for tab on on a tab item. So I'm on a tab item and I go, okay, I want to go to panel one type of thing, right? Okay, so the other thing we need to deal with this quickly is we need to deal with this. So if I go over here, okay, so that, that seems to be working fine, I can probably drop that console because I know it's kind of more or less what I need to do here. Probably another one down here. Because I'm happy about the left and the right. I'm happy with the more or less with the well, actually no, I still want the tab panel. Okay. Yeah, so that switch is fine. Okay. So now The way the tab panel by the sounds of it is supposed to work, if I go, I think it's, no, it's ARIA properties, yeah, so this is the one I'm looking for. So, if I'm tab, when tab list contains focus, move focus to the next element in the page tab sequence. Outside the tab list. Which is the tab panel, okay. So if somebody presses on the tab list, the next, the next thing in the. Okay, to try and sum it up. So okay, maybe just one. When a tab list contains the focus, move focus to the next element in the tab sequence, which is the, which is the element in tab panel. So essentially, if somebody presses tab over here, we have to move to the tab panel by the sounds of it. Um, let's read this one. I think this one is better. It's more stuff in it. When tab list contains focus, which is a tab panel. Move oh, this a bit closer. Mic, sorry, yeah. Okay, so which is the tab panel? There's the first element containing meaningful content inside. The tab panel is focused. But okay, so which is the tab panel? Unless the first element contains a meaningful content inside the tab panel. Okay. Okay, so the first element in the tab panel was focus. Well, the focus needs to go to that. Otherwise, the focus needs to go to the tab panel itself. Which means that when we mount a tab panel, we have to figure out what is the focus, what is kind of the, f the element that we can focus on the tab panel. Like where, basically on the tab panel, we need to figure out where the focus needs to go to once the tab panel is shown. So when... Okay, let's see. And then we need to basically say, hmm, it's going to be a painful. Because so essentially, we have to check whether the tab panel, the content of the tab panel is anything that we can focus on. So let's, we're going to have to use a use effect again here. Yeah. We're going to have to use a ref again to check whether there's anything in the DOM that's focusable. Use ref. Okay, so right, and then on this we have to go ref equals tab panel ref. 
and then the user ref is going to be HTML dev element and or null. Okay, so let's see. So const tab panel element equals tab current. Okay. Okay, so now I've got a tab panel element. So now what I need to do is I need to figure out if this tab panel element has got anything in it that's focusable. Well, I think as Query selector, so first job. I'm not searching really for the well, I'm searching for the first job, but first of type of target the first occurrence of an element within its container. It is defined in the CS selector level three specs as well. Basically, we're looking for something I'm not saying. Okay, let's just see what this does. It's a more credit CSS, though. Let's go. Yeah, I'm figuring this much. Let's see what this does. Okay. So for now, we're just going to drop this one. that console log so we're just kind of kind of clearing our console logs at the moment so we can get back to trying to figure out what's going on okay so this is it might be that on our story we don't have anything that's meaningful um so what i'm going to do is Use a round tab. Okay. Spend too much time trying to figure out for them at the moment. Let's just do it like this. Okay. Okay, so that's the first job in that tab panel. So what we can do now is say that if that if that tab panel is focusable, if that first job is focusable, then. Okay, so that's not going to give us anything. Okay, so let's see. Const, let's do this rather than, let's do const. Uh, 
first element. So basically, this is the first element or any descendants of the first element. Um, for each element if because I don't know if there's a way to say whether something is focusable It's a shame. That's not. Um, let's see. So if tag name equals input, and let's say what's the focusable element equals set focus element state more work okay seems to work ish I know this is kind of horrible at the moment we're just trying to figure out what we can do and what we can't do um, let's see so What we can do over here is have another use effect. All we're going to log to is here is check. Okay, we want to go into stories because what we want to do is we want to change this into a button. into div okay let me just give us a border Fuss too much about the styling. Okay, so let's see. Class name input. But well, I'm kind of curious why this isn't working though. So maybe because it's supposed to be text. Okay, it seems a bit better. Okay, 
Okay, so let's see. Now, from what I'm understanding is, is that we are supposed to be able to get something out of this. Node list. Input dev. So this gets the first child and then it gets all the descendants of the first child. From understanding. Tab panel list. Although for the second node list is yeah, this is exactly what I'm more or less expecting. Button in okay, what I want actually want to do with this is I want to put this button in it. The reason for that is if we try to save first child or the descendants of the first child. So yeah, so we're looking for a dev and a button over here. Um, now what we want to do on this is we want to say info element dot tag because we want to see what this input tag name is. So my assumption at the moment is yeah. So this is the case okay yeah okay cool so okay so we can do a say okay this element is focused what I think I want to do is I just want to do to upper case as well the reason for it is just for if so I'm using Brave for this, uh, but if another browser doesn't actually uppercase, uppercase the tag name, then those things will still match. Um, so at the moment we can kind of match for focus things for inputs and buttons. Um, and what I've also got here, I can do the same thing for for the tab panel. Um, but the nice thing is what I can do now is I can say tab index equals Focusable elements as the focus of what element is null. Make this naught, otherwise make this minus one. Okay, no, this needs to be actual integer is not string, so go tab panel thing. Okay, so now the tab panel Let's make another tab panel saying contact us. What we're going to do is we're going to say okay, so we're going to make another one saying hello there. Okay, we still have to fix these index things so we don't have to pass the index to the tab panel, but for now, hello there, cool. We just kind of have another one without any focusable elements as a control. So what we can do now is we can go to petrol three. We can so we want okay. So that one tab on one. Okay, cool. Okay, so yeah, that seems to be working. Ish. What I need to do now is I need to do exactly the same thing down here. So. I've got the tab panel. What I can do then is I can go through through each one of the query selectors and then try to find if there's a focus or by a limit or not. Or what I can actually do is, is on the tab panel I can check what the photo f I can probably check what the focus index is on the tab panel. If there isn't a focus index on the tab if there is one I just focus on the tab. If there isn't one as I go through this logic again and try to find a uh, a child that's focusable. So what I probably end up having to do is take all of this stuff over here and move that into a function so it's reusable. But I'll leave that for the next time. And with that, bye bye.